drums, Josh Metellus. Crowd cheering, they waiting for it. Anticipation of my fans, I gotta make it. This my shot, I got Intercepted! That was a hell of a catch by Josh Metellus. He's Josh Metellus with a big interception. Yeah. Work that I put in, see, I was what a play by Josh Metellus. Josh Metellus forced the fumble. Josh Metellus with the strip sack fumble. Josh Metellus big time hit, baby. He's a Michigan Wolverine. He is now a Minnesota Viking, but most importantly on his resume, he once co-hosted Good Morning Football. Oh, yeah. Which we love about Josh <laughs> Metellus. Good morning, Josh. Up, How are you? Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Wait, first, yeah. Kyle, yeah. got to ask, man. What's up? Are you okay? Oh, I, I know you might you be a little ate sore it today. Oh. <laughs> All right. so I, I know you, you might see, be a little sore. Obviously, you did. Oh, oh. oh man. Bow. That's how I started Good Morning Football in Los Angeles. <laughs> new regime, new era. You know what it is, the Josh? I, um, you know how, like, in football sometimes when you get that first hit, it, like, wakes you up? You know, like, now I'm ready to play. That's how I am as a TV guy. I just got to get popped a couple times, and then I'm ready to broadcast. So I feel great, mm -hmm. and I thank the you for adrenaline asking. adrenaline through the roof. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm usually Good really to see calm. You. Good to see you guys. Up. Thank great you, buddy. Josh, what did you do when you saw – because you put this on Instagram immediately when you saw Kyle eat it. Yeah. And you've done the show so you can appreciate what that meant in that moment. I, uh, I honestly thought it was uh, just part of the skit until yeah. I seen yeah. his mic falling skit. off. And I was like, oh, no, he really fell. Like, this, this, was, this was real. So I, I immediately just wanted to check on him. Thank you. But uh, I know you guys were busy, so I was like, I'll just wait till you guys were done with the show. But uh, I, see, cool. I seen his energy. I seen the adrenaline pumping through his veins, so I knew he was okay. I love you, man. Thank you. Everybody always thinks I'm doing a skit. <laughs> I'm just trying to be here and talk all. Like, come on. I'm like you're Molly Shannon. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Rachel Drax. I'm just being funny. All right, let's go talk to Josh. This is why we love Josh, though, because he's, like, inside baseball and everything that he does. Like, he hosts the show for three days, and he's like, I saw your mic was falling off, and I can appreciate guy. that. Uh, so, Josh, you're heading into year five. You are now moving from the category of youth player to you know, a little more veteran status. So how's camp going? Yeah. Are you getting any vet days? What's going on? Uh, no vet days yet, okay. uh, but camp's going great. Um, I've been uh, really leaning on the uh, younger guys, you know, trying to bring them along. Um, we got we got a good group, and uh, I'm just excited to see you know what everybody is gonna uh, do this season. Um, obviously, uh, you know we got guys uh, just got drafted. We got some guys we just brought onto the team. So it's all about you know gelling that connection together uh, to move forward for week one. What do you got, Peter? I'm looking at I'm looking at Josh. Look at that Vikings logo, <laughs> and I'm wondering. <laughs> What's the situation at quarterback? I know mm -hmm. you're the defensive player, and you play every position, and you also probably play 16 positions on offense. Um, you're Mr. <laughs> Mr. Swiss Army. We love you. But here's a fellow Michigan man gets drafted, and yet it seems like it's Sam Darnold's team. But Sam's only got that one-year contract. You're there. What are we seeing from Darnold? What are we seeing from McCarthy? And what is your assessment of the quarterback position so far? Ooh. Uh, I would say uh, it's a great competition. Um, you know, you got two guys uh, in different points in their career, and uh, you have two competitors, and uh, it's just been great to see, you know, both of them approach uh, the game, how they've been approaching it. Um, they're very competitive, very elite, very elite in, in terms of poise, and uh, I think, you know, they're just getting each other better, and uh, they're going to make that whole room better. Um, obviously, it's still early. Um, we just put the pads on for the first time yesterday, so you know, there's a lot of work to be done. Uh, but I'm excited to see what they do, especially J.J. in these preseason games, you know, getting his first NFL game under his belt. Okay. Josh, you know, I got to say, I, I love your game. Um, you know, I, I got to ask, when you have a dog like Justin Jefferson in camp, that raises everybody's game. For you, how has that elevated your game? How have you taken your game? How have you grown um, having a guy like Justin Jefferson on the other side? Oh man, he, he he's great, man. I think uh, what what I always tell the rookies when he come when he comes in when they come in is that anytime you line up with him, he's trying to embarrass you, and uh, he takes that he takes that to heart. You know, he never wants to lose a rep. So anytime you line up against him, you have to bring your A game because he's gonna get you better. Because he want he wants he wants the big play. He wants the crowd cheering. Uh, he, he wants to uh, literally embarrass you out on the practice field. So uh, you, when, you, when you go against him, you, you have to be on your A game. So 
over these past five years, man, he's just been helping me become such a better player, you know, just treating practice like a game so that way when the game comes, you know, I don't see a, a better receiver than him. Now, now, has he tested you? Like, I mean, has he personally tested you? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, I'm about to show you up today. Like, what's, what's good? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, I, you know me, I, I'm a big competitor, and I like to talk a lot, especially on that field. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know, we, we, we get on each other a little bit, but, you know, it's all about, you know, making each other better. Okay. Josh, did you did you watch him on receiver? And also, what did you make of this? There was this reaction where he lives in this one-bedroom condo, even though he signed this massive contract, and everyone was all aghast about <laughs> that. It seemed like a smart thing to do. What was your takeaway? Yeah, uh, uh, that's just who he is, man. Uh, people, uh, he, he's been in that house since uh, rookie year, so um, that's just who he is as a person. Um, you know, he, he wants to just be that guy on the field. You know, the off the field stuff doesn't really matter to him as much. You know, he's really close with his family. And uh, if he can spend time with his family off the field and play like he does on the field, I think he'll be perfectly fine. Um, I, I was honestly surprised, too, when I uh, seen his house for the first time. Because uh, I, I live uh, not too far from him. So, uh, you know, I, uh, I was surprised. I'm like, you sure this is his house? Um, but, uh, yeah, man, that's just the type of guy he is. He's not really caught up in the materialistic stuff, even though it looks like it, because he's always you know, got everything on. He has his chains on, his Louis Vuitton fits. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to, you know, just him being who he is, you know, he's not that big, flashy guy. Mm. You know where he invested is in his candy cabinet. If when he opened it, yes. it's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to, yeah, I was like, wait, I need to see what's yeah, in there. Like, That's fantastic. Um, so, Josh, we saw. His mom helps out a lot with that. Yeah, exactly. We saw Kirk Cousins on quarterback last season. Now Jefferson's been on wide receiver. When are you going to get the camera crews to buy into DBs mm. on Netflix and uh, make a case for why you should be a part of it? Uh, I think uh, if they did anything on the defense, uh, I'll be a great candidate. I mean, I played every position on defense, so if they wanted to do defenders, they wanted to do linebackers, uh, I could make a case for it. Uh, I think my, my position, uh, especially, you know, with Flores uh, coaching us, is a, a, a very peculiar it's a very, very uh, interesting uh, position. You know, they'll get to see the ins and outs of what I really do. Um, and just, you know, my day-to-day -day life, uh, I'm a big family man. And, uh, you know, the, the way I play on the field, you know, I'm, I'm really hmm. different off the field. Uh, I'm a big, aggressive guy, as you can see in these highlights. But, uh, you know, off the field, you know, I'm a, a cuddle bug with my family. I'm a big family guy. So I think it would just be great to uh, just see me on and off the field and okay. see what I, you know, bring for the team. Uh Really quickly, Josh, you've been a co-host of our program. We love you in studio. We're going to have you in studio out here. Kyle, yep. our co-host here and our colleague, is going to interview your former college coach, Jim Harbaugh, later today. Yeah. What is Ooh. one thing that Kyle needs to know Ooh. about Harv's? Uh, one thing you need to know about him, the uh, – if you're, are you, is he going to be in person? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. That's important. Give, yeah. All right, yeah. Uh, try, try, to, try to look him in the eye as long as possible. I, I, I want you to, to feel that he, he, has a, he has a thing that he does. When you, when you look him in the eye too long, he'll probably not look at you in the eye. Okay. So I, don't, I don't know if it's like a, a quirk or you. what, but, yeah. I, I want you to <laughs> do that to him. That. I, I just want to see how you feel <laughs> after. About that. I, ain't even I just want to see how you, you feel after. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sit here all day with you. I'll yeah, sit all day, Coach. Uncomfortable. I can handle that. <laughs> you're going to make that interview uncomfortable for us. Damn right it is. Is that some of the best pre-interview uh, advice yeah. you've Brain ever gotten? Great advice. That's great. I'm not going to blink the whole time. Please don't. Please. I can't <laughs> wait to see it. That's great advice. That's like Josh Metellus. Thank He's you. a Viking safety. Blah, blah, blah. You played at Michigan, whatever. He was a former co-host of GMFB. This yeah, is him back yeah. in February. Yo. Uh, Wolf, Peter Stringer, I know that was an awesome couple of days. We can't wait to have you back and, uh, you know, we'll make sure we chop it up. But we appreciate you so much coming on day two and checking on your guy here, Kyle Brandt. I got it. Josh, appreciate you. Skull. <laughs> Skull, baby. Take care. Let's go. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.